go to jail. Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And in Lawrenceville, Georgia, a DNC tour bus with Hillary Clinton's logo on the side, she wasn't on it, uh, stopped and stopped right above a storm drain. And what they did is they opened the valve to empty their sewage tank. I don't know where they go, where they're supposed to go to empty their uh, sewage tanks, but that's not the place you do it. There are special facilities. And, of course, people found out about it. Well, people saw them doing it. So they uh, are in deep trouble. Somebody can go to jail over this. I love how the, uh, CBS plus it. DNC apologizes for dumping human waste. In their case, it's not an apology. In their case, I'm sorry is a condition, a statement of condition rather than an apology. Anyway, Lawrenceville police are investigating a claim that involves a Democratic National Committee tour bus illegally dumping human waste, meaning sewage, into a storm drain between campaign stops. The incident happened in Grayson Highway Tuesday morning after the bus left a campaign stop near the Gwyneth County Board of Elections office where hundreds of voters were lined up to take part in early voting. Police say that when the officers arrived on the scene, toilet paper was scattered on the roadway near the storm drain, and there was a foul smell. In other words, it smelled like shit. Mike Robbins, manager of a nearby business, took several photos of the tour bus dumping waste on the storm drain, and pictures likely can be seen coming from the bottom of the bus. Like I said, what they did is they just stopped by the storm drain and opened the valve and didn't think anybody would see. According to Robbins, a hazmat team responded to the location and conducted the waste, collected the waste to keep more of it from entering the storm drain. I don't care who you are, I don't care if you're Hillary Clinton, I don't care if you're Donald Trump, I don't care who you are, you don't throw human waste on a storm drain, said Robbins. Wastewater just dumping all over the street and pouring out on the storm drain. And at this time, I got my cell phone and I'm taking pictures. I don't care who you are. It's just wrong. Yeah, it is. DNC supposedly apologized. Like I said, it's, uh, in their case, it's a statement of condition, not an apology. This was an honest mistake. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. This is an honest mistake, and we apologize to the Lawrenceville community for any harm we may have caused. We are unaware of any possible violations. That is another lie. That is bullshit. And we have already taking corrective action with a charter bus company to prevent it from happening again. In other words, they don't want to get caught next time. Furthermore, DNC will work with the Georgia Department of Natural Resources as well as local and state officials to determine the best course of corrective action. Uh, Best course of corrective action is A, somebody goes to jail, and B, you sons of bitches uh, have got to pay for damage. It takes money to clean this stuff up. Oh, you boil this down for you. There's no way this was an honest mistake. There's no such thing. 
they stopped right over the storm drain and they opened the valve and they dumped the sewage in the street. You're not allowed to do that. They've probably done this quite a few times. Then they claim how environmentally uh, sensitive they are and all this. You just don't do this by accident. You stop, they stop above the storm drain, they open the valve, and out goes the sewage. And they got caught doing it. So, just remember, these are the people who claim to be environmentally sound and sensitive and all this. And they're stopping their buses over storm drains to dump shit down the storm drain. Unbelievable. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Can't do a lot of videos right now, but we'll try.